Come Have Coffee with Michelle is sponsored by Cincinnati Museum Center. Well, it's time to have coffee with a side of garbage. You heard right, garbage. Most of us take it out to the curb and it disappears and we don't give it a second thought. Well, today we're talking trash at the landfill with the king of the heap, Bill Rumkey. So let's grab your coffee and let's go. The Rumkey landfill in Colerain Township, it's big, about 500 acres, smelly, with about 10,000 tons of garbage dumped here a day. And it's also big business and putting the Rumkey family at the top of the heap. How in the world did you all get involved with trash? We're trash talking now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't have a choice. It's kind of what, what I was born into. My grandfather started the business in 1932. Collecting waste started out as a way to keep the family hog farm going. And nine decades later, the Rumkeys have the largest landfill in the state top 10 in the nation. Most people wouldn't, don't have the appreciation of what it was like growing up in, in, in my household and with, for my, with my father and in my own personal household. The, the business really is part of life. It's kind of what we do and who we are. Generations of Rumkeys growing the billion dollar business now in five states, including Kentucky, Illinois, and West Virginia. Recycling is also becoming increasingly profitable and one of Rumpke's biggest challenges. And we want to make sure that everybody is putting um, the proper recycling, proper material in their recycling bin. That seems uh, to be the biggest challenge it, probably, right? It's a big challenge. Yeah. So while um, lithium ion batteries are recyclable, they are not recyclable in our program. And the problem with those batteries is as we process, they can cause a spark, and cause fires. We've had a lot of fires related to that, and that's very concerning to us, to our employees, um, and to our ability to continue to process material. What would you say is your passion outside of the business? Well, my passion is the business. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bill, what else? We enjoy the Cincinnati Reds, the Bengals, all the local, the local stuff, and getting involved in um, you know the arts locally, um, so yeah, that that keeps me going when, when when I'm not focused on the business. We we might talk about the business sometime when we're at those <laughs> events, though. Where would we find you on any given Saturday at 10 a.m.? Um, I might be at a at a grandkids grandkids game. Um, I'm a, believe it or not, I honestly I'm a bit of an introvert, so I like spending time alone on the weekends. <laughs> but but it, it's good. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I'm kind of that way too. So. <laughs> but all right. Well, thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Michelle. And let's let's cheers to Rumkey all and right. trash talking, right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you probably heard it all. As a matter of fact, Bill has heard it all and seen it all. An elephant. I don't know if it was put down or it. it died and the um, the circus people called called my dad um, they needed to go somewhere with it and we ended up taking it on the landfill back here I know about where it's buried oh my I'm God. sure it's way underneath you know many hundred hundred feet of garbage by now but I have the rough I have a rough idea of where where it went so there's an elephant yes, in the landfill there is another strange sighting at the landfill had the world's largest uh, candy bar, and it was as big as the back of a tractor trailer truck. Uh, it was massive. It looked not good anymore, <laughs> <laughs> and they wanted to get rid of it, and they pulled it on the lot, and this massive piece of chocolate on the back of a, on a tractor trailer truck, and it went into the landfill. So that's in the landfill, too. That's in the landfill, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm almost afraid to ask about what else could be back there. Um, yeah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> and Rumpke has worked with police on murder investigations, so you can just imagine what they were looking for at the landfill. Rumpke is another one of those family businesses in the region that has stood the test of time and is continuing to grow. The recycling plants in Cincinnati and Columbus are two of the largest, believe it or not, in North America. Cheers to Rumpke. Coming up next time on Come Have Coffee, I'm sitting down with Vanessa Freitag, uh, leading the way at 4C for Children, an organization that for years has been supporting parents, young children, and teachers to make sure kids get the best start in life. 
see what you can learn about 4C for children. That is next time on Come Have Coffee. You may know their names, but how well do you really know Cincinnati's most prominent people? Come Have Coffee gives you a chance to get to know them a lot better. Watch this Cincy Lifestyle special streaming now. Find WCPO9 everywhere you stream and scroll to specials.